What really happened with Apollo and Tony Burkett? Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what happened. The double bluff was played, and uh, for anybody looking in, I need to give them it. Tony won it, yeah? Because what really happened was uh, I made uh, contact with Paul Ellis. Uh, Paul Ellis it made it clear to me that he wasn't going to be any fight. He wasn't going to involve any violence, or, even though it was bare knuckle and the rest of it, or whatever the rules may be, uh, which I agreed on. If that's no for him, man, then fine. But so we, we uh, he asked me to get my number. I got my number uh, on the conditions that Paul uh, was to, to to sort this out. Yeah, there, there was to there was to be no giving the number to Tony. Uh, the fair play man who we're going to uh, call him is Rue. That was the name that was passed on at the time. Uh, phoned me straight away and said, fucking Paul Ellis has went and gave that number to Tony. So I've messaged Paul Ellis and went, Paul, you've gave that number to... He went, yeah, but it was a uh, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, the number went to Tony. That was an agreement that was broken, but never, it's not the end of the world, is it? So, reverse back a wee bit. So that night when the, the first location, yeah, which is in these pictures here, the location was put up. The, everybody will agree, uh, even in uh, Apollo's comments and Tony's comments, the, the, everybody knew where the location was. It was compromised. It, it wasn't worth a fuck. Everybody said, pointless, because it's going to end up with police. Yeah, so the, that location was then, there you go, where the arrow is there, okay? The line up there from the roundabouts, a pathway. It was compromised. Everybody knew where it was. However, so, <laughs> reversing back a wee bit, when I was speaking to Rue, and he said, right, so I said, well, you need to talk uh, talk to Paul Ellis about it. Paul Ellis was online because I was messaging him at the exact same time because Rue wasn't going to believe me, so I was sending a screenshot of Paul Ellis being online. I said, I'm, I am messaging him right now. So he was like, well, look. And he was sending me screenshots of the exact same number of Paul Ellis's, and Paul Ellis wouldn't answer that phone. Correct me if I'm wrong, Paul. Am I telling the truth here? Yeah? Because I've got the screenshots of it, but I don't want to put the conversation up, uh, which is nothing to do with us. So, Paul Ellis was online, right? The location had been compromised. Rube was then trying to sort out this other location. Paul Ellis was getting phoned. Paul Ellis wouldn't answer the phone. That's what happened, yeah? Uh, so... When I seen Paul, I, I got to give him it, right? Listen, guys, if it's content, right? The double bluff was played and he won it, yeah? Because Paul Ellis, the man who wasn't, made it clear, right? He made it clear across. The, to me, he made it a, a clear on his comments. He made it clear in the video. He would not be there. Tony Burke even said he wouldn't be there. And then all of a sudden, at that location there, it's marked off here in green. <laughs> Paul Ellis is videoing an hour later, an hour later, by the way, and we'll pull the, the, the data off it. Yeah, so they weren't even there in time. They did have a couple of wee drive up and downs. Uh, yeah. Paul Ellis was all of a sudden there. Why? Because he knew that... <laughs> I, I don't know who Apollo is. I'm not interested, right? I do know who the fair play man is. Yeah. So there you have it, guys, and a big, a big uh, apology to Exposure TV, who I also count as a friend. I, Apollo, I don't know, uh, the fair play man, uh, the, the guy who's got to be the fair play man, I do know him, I will vouch for him. Uh, him and his fine lady, good couple. Carries the same values as ourselves. Don't be bringing folks' messages online and trying to abuse them and all the rest of it. Uh, that kind of rape gang culture, you know, uh, it's just not on, is it? It's not on. But anybody looking in, right, and it goes against the grain to say it, but Tony Burkett, anybody looking in, he won that. He called double bluff and he won it. Yeah, all poker face, man. At the end of the day, his hand was shite and uh, he pulled it. He pulled it off and he won it. He won it. Anybody looking in, he won it. 
Paul Ellis made it perfectly clear to Humble Dryer. He made it perfectly clear on his own channel. Tony made it perfectly clear that Paul Ellis wouldn't be there. He wouldn't be there. Now, everybody got to ask themselves why Paul Ellis was all of a sudden there. Well, you don't need to ask yourself. I've just told you it's because he pulled a double bluff. And, yeah, there you go. Make it that what you will, right? And I'm quite sure Paul Ellis will... He's not got to call me a liar because he knows I'm right. He knows I was messaging him at the exact same time as Rue was trying to call him. And that's how we knew that I knew Paul Ellis was dinging the calls. Because I'm like, well, I can't be. He's online, look, he's messaged me back. I was sending him. And he was like, well, look. And he was Rue was sending me where he was trying to phone Paul. Yeah, it was the same thing. It was just a double bluff. And they pulled it off and they won. It's as simple as that. That's what really happened. And I'm quite sure uh, Paul Ellis is not going to come on here and say, nah, John's lying. Because I, I don't want to be picking the conversations up. Uh, because that's, again, that's just shit. Uh, I don't want to go there. I'm quite sure. I'm going to say, right, Tony played it with the help of Paul and they won it looking in from outside. But the truth be known, Paul dingied the phone to Rue when the, the, the first location, the only location, was compromised. Yay! Get back to his Paul! <laughs> everybody else have a good day. Uh, everybody else have a really good day. I just want to thank everybody else behind the scenes. You know who you are. A big shout to Apollo. Uh for taking that on the chin, yeah, <laughs> uh, big shout out to, uh, what do you call him, T uh, Apollo TV, big shout out to Apollo TV, uh, big shout out to uh, Zeus, new channel called Zeus, big shout out to Kearney, Fitrin, uh, who else we got, oh listen guys, right, listen, there's a guy there uh, fighting cancer right now, He's 60 something subscribers off his thousand mark. Come on. Come on. These, these videos get uh, on a basic, I don't know, maybe overnight, maybe 1,500, 2,000 views. I'm sure there's a few of you in there. I'm sure we can pick up maybe 7% of you to go and give uh, Shield Road's finest a subscribe and get him over his thousand, his thousand subscriber mark. And he's. Uh, He's shown everybody. I mean, I've seen some shitty comments. Can stage four cancer and all that, blah blah blah. Can it's not the end of the world. Well, it's not. Might not be for some, you know. But if you're loving yourself and all that, right, it might be for others. Give a wee 